a pleasure and an honor to be here. And I say to you that it's my honor more than anything to introduce this person. This person to me has given more than almost anybody I know. This woman is unprecedented in her ability to give to this community. She's the president and CEO of the California Community Foundation. Ladies and gentlemen, the unbelievable Antonia Hernandez. Well, it's a pleasure to be here, and I will tell you uh, all the wonderful things that have been said about this initiative are really significant. The investment of $50 million in the youth of color is unprecedented. As the president and CEO of the California Community Foundation, we have a small program, Bloom, that focuses on African American youth. And in the last three years, I've had the honor and pleasure of collaborating with the endowment on this initiative. I am a graduate of Garfield High School, okay? And I know, I know as an immigrant the importance of a teacher. I don't remember much about my youth as an immigrant, but I remember Mrs. Moore, the third grade teacher that believed in this immigrant that couldn't speak English enough to buy milk. You know, I remember the first Latino teacher that, you know, started teaching at Garfield. That was not 1903, but 1963. And so the importance of investing in your youth, and I want to make three points as a mother, as a mother of two sons. If you look back here at the audience, this is the future of the United States. This is the demographics of the United States. If we don't invest in these youth, we're not investing in our future. And so for me, it's extremely important to, 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 to focus on what it is that is preventing our youth from succeeding and from learning. To really focus on the obstacles. It's not for lack of brains. The Lord spread brains all around the universe. Okay? And it's not for lack of effort or hard work. It's because there are impediments to these youth. And so what we need to do and what this program does, that it's very critical. We focus on providing a path so that kids can learn to read by third grade, so that they understand that they have to graduate, that we change the school district and the system so it can be responsive to their needs, and most importantly, to understand the burden of poverty and to try to address what is preventing these children from learning.